Hey guys, I'm making this video on installing a clutch pedal bushing. And this is for my 2006 Saturn Ion Redline Edition. Of course, this will apply to any Saturn Ion. Um, I think just about all of them have this bushing. Um, but specifically this pedal version is for the 2005 to 2007. So, let me get up in here and take a look. I've already installed the part. I guess I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like. So... Let me get this cable out of the way. This is something I installed and just never tucked away. All right, so first thing we need to do, just to see if you have one, because if you don't, and this is the reason I'm installing it now, is because what happened was this popped off while I was driving down the road. My clutch rod actually shot through the pedal itself this is just Asdale plastic. This whole thing, the clutch pedal and everything, is just Asdale plastic. It's on a metal bracket, but the pedal's just plastic. So, first thing we need to do is remove this clip. So, you pull out on it and I'm going to slide it off. And I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with it. I was able to do this earlier, no problem. It's just because I'm making a video. Okay, there we go. All right. You don't want to try. You want to try not to pull this way on the clutch pedal with this on there because what this does, it does two things. It keeps dust and debris from going up in here and wearing down that bushing and the uh, there's a rubber piece on the tip of the rod and so these two tabs these two tabs stick up inside and there's there's little black tabs on the side of the pedal that clamp on to the to the the rubber piece to keep it from pulling out that way so basically it holds your pedal you know from going all the way forward and disconnecting from the rod. It's it's really a, in my opinion, a really stupid design. I have a truck, uh, old Ford Ranger, and their method for doing this was having a round piece and a rod going through it, and that was attached to the rod that was going this way. So the rod going this way, the end of it was just a round piece that attached to a rod that went through the pedal which to me sounds like a much better design I don't know why they didn't just do that but instead they decided to use this crap so what you want to do to see if you have this piece installed and you may not even have to worry about this push the clutch pedal back now the bushing that I just stuck in there it's a white basically a white piece of plastic but what it does is it makes it completely smooth for the rubber piece to push against so it's not going to eat away at the rubber and eventually make it fail and then end up pushing right through the pedal because it's ground metal to plastic get the focus to work here so if you see a white piece of course i think oem might have been black I know I saw them online, white or black, but basically there's a tiny uh, groove in there, and that basically is a little white piece um, that sticks through the front that keeps the bushing in place. So when it's installed, I don't know if it's got a good picture of this or not, I'm going to try to get back here with it, but basically... It installs vertically because those the clips that are on the pedal itself are horizontal, basically side to side. They clamp on the ball from the side. 
and the the white pieces you'll see on online and I'll give you the model number in a second um, the white pieces the white tabs basically go vertically up and down and whenever I installed this originally you can pull the pedal away and pull that rod out and then just basically grab the rod move it down it's not going to hurt anything um, just move the rod down out of the way slide that little white piece of plastic in there you'll feel it it'll it'll sit very well when you have it the right orientation um, but then you will push, it will pull the rod, pull the uh, pedal away push the rod back up in place slide the pedal back over it so that the rod, so that the the bushing is touching on the rubber and then from the front while you have applied some pressure to it and you don't want to you don't want to reinstall this without applying some pressure because if you don't have this in or if you don't have the if you don't have the rod all the way in and then you go to install this and then you go to push on the clutch pedal it'll slam into it and it's probably not a good thing for it so now everything's tight and in place and that's that's going to save that little rubber piece on the end of the rod from failing so the part number for that piece that little white clip is 22697429 and it's about I think I got mine for about nine bucks on eBay and uh, there's there's a lot of them there so uh, making this video in January 2019 even though this is like a 12 year old vehicle or 13 now there's still a lot a lot of parts left for it out there so uh, this might apply to cobalts or HHRs as well um, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, give this video a like or a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you later.